Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. For those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new, then welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing part six of my fall fashion trends video. I think at this point we're going to say fall winter because we are close, closely approaching winter time. It's November. So um, yeah, we'll be in, in the winter season pretty soon. So yeah, we'll just call this fall winter season trends. So um, I've done five of these at this point. So like I said, this is number six. So if you want to see some of the latest trends that I want to talk about and just, yeah, just have a good old chat about fashion because if you're like me and you love fashion, this is the channel for you. So stick around for part six of my fall fashion trends video. All right, so the first trend that we're gonna talk about is going to be ties worn by women. So um, I feel like this is a trend that I've never ever participated in and it's just like a fun trend. I feel like this one has to do a lot with like the preppy style, which I'm gonna talk about as well. A lot of these trends I'm gonna talk about today kind of intertwine and you can wear together. So yeah, as you'll see from the ones that I'm gonna talk about today. So yeah, ties worn by women definitely a trend that I never have never participated in I've never in my entire life worn a tie <laughs> I've worn scarves um, I think I've worn like little neck scarves like those little small little neck scarves I won though worn those but ties that typically you see men wear I definitely have not worn anything like this so it's definitely a menswear type of a, tr a trend for women and you know ladies to try out whenever I do see women wear ties though I just think it just it brings about a certain sophistication I don't know why to me it just looks sophisticated but it just kind of elevates the look a little bit and it's something unexpected right because it is sort of a menswear type of a you know item of clothing to wear because men typically men wear ties so but i'm all about androgynous dressing i love to kind of dress and mix kind of like masculine with a little bit of femininity just to kind of toughen it up a little bit because um i don't really like to dress too feminine like head to toe i like there to be a little bit of edginess or some sort of you know masculine element to my look just because i just like the juxtaposition of that i'm always talking about juxtaposition juxtaposition and mixing different uh styles but i just i don't know i just think it brings about something interesting to your outfit when you just add just a tie just something as simple as a tie to your look it just yeah, just, it just says something to the outfit and it's definitely something unexpected, but it just definitely gives me like classy, sophisticated vibes and I just love this. So like I said, I don't, um, I don't think I've ever participated in uh, wearing a, you know, a tie, but I am definitely going to because my husband, he has a lot of ties. So I'm not going to go out and, you know, buy any ties. I'm not even going to go to the thrift store to do this because it's just one of those easy trends that you can try out that you don't have to pay any money for, especially if you have a man in your life that has suits or wears ties. It's just one way for you to incorporate that trend. You know, just a fun trend. A lot of these trends I'm going to talk about, a lot of them are just fun. Um, something to try out that you don't have to spend a lot of money on. Like I said, if you have a man in your life who wears suits and has ties, you can easily incorporate this trend into your wardrobe just to see, just add something fun. I've even seen the ladies like do where it's like you can tie it up and just wear it just like it's supposed to be worn or you can just kind of wear it like a scarf i've seen that style i've even seen like women like tied up in like a little bow to create like a little bow detail which i think is very cute and just very creative way to wear a tie and not wear it in the, in the traditional way that you would typically wear a tie but i definitely love this trend um and like i said every time i see a woman with a tie on just i don't know it just adds a little bit of classiness and sophistication to the look i don't know why <laughs> i guess because men when i see a man in a suit um i'm all always like and you know like yes sir like yes you did that because I just love to see a man in a suit um but when I see a woman in one with a tie especially with a tie I'm like girl that's something different you did that you did that girl so but yeah I'm definitely going to try it out and see how I like it I may wear it in the tradition in the traditional way just like you know wear it, wear it with like a button-up shirt or something but you can definitely kind of make it casual and wear it like with a button-up shirt with like some jeans or something like that and like some sneakers or some heels or something like there's ways that you can kind of style it up i'm gonna hopefully pop pictures on the screen so you can see examples of how to style up a tie in case you want to try it out and you don't really know how you can kind of incorporate it into your wardrobe and make it work for you um hopefully i can pop some pictures on the screen and give you guys some inspo so but i'm gonna try it out so stay tuned um when i do some styling videos i'm gonna see if i can incorporate some ties in there it's just like an extra element of surprise an extra accessory that you can just add to your wardrobe or add to your look um that not everybody else is doing because where i live i don't see a lot of women wear ties mainly when i see this i see it online obviously because i'm 
am a content creator, so I, you know, follow some, a lot of the content creating festivities that go on on social media. But I don't think I really see it in real life where I live. But I definitely uh, see it on social media and, you know, Pinterest, TikTok, Instagram, you know, YouTube. So, but I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it out and see you know, how I can really style it up and incorporate it into my wardrobe. But yeah, that is the first trend. It's another fun trend that you can try out and not spend a lot of money. And that is ties. All right. And the next trend is going to be like hobo bags or like these really slouchy bags, handbags. I don't know if I've mentioned this before. I think I may have brought up like suede and kind of talked about how because suede is another trend for the season. I think I mentioned like big like hobo bags that are made out of suede. I think that's kind of like when I talked about um, hobo bags just briefly um, as far as with your handbags. Um, but yeah, hobo bags or slouchy bags are huge right now. Makes sense because the Western trend is huge. Like that boho trend is kind of huge right now. So it makes sense that this kind of hobo bag or slouchy bag would you know be trending so um but i love handbags i have like i said in my uh one of my other fall trends video i talked about suede and i purchased some suede slouchy handbags that i got from asos and um yeah i love those bags just you know suede or suede you know hobo bags or even like leathers like you know the uh, smooth leather slouchy bags or hobo bags um yeah, just like different textures of it, I think creates a cute, fun look to your outfit and just brings about some element of texture. But yeah, hobo bags, just, they're just huge right now. And they're and they're literally huge. <laughs> like you can literally fit everything in there. I have um, a few hobo bags I just recently purchased and um, it just kind of gives me an excuse to like bring more stuff with me, even though I don't need a whole bunch of stuff to bring with me whenever I go out somewhere. But um, I'm definitely able to carry more things in my bag when I have one of these slouchy or hobo bags. Just, you know, like I said, just you're able to just put more stuff in there, you know, put everything in there, but the kitchen sink. I think they're actually probably good work bags. If you go to work somewhere, you need to bring like a laptop or an iPad or something. I think they're also good bags to have for work purposes. Um, and they just look cute with, a, with any look. Um, I don't know if they're really casual bags. So if you're looking for like a casual bag, something that's not too structured and you don't want, you know, like a structured bag to wear to work. That's why I think a hobo bag or these slouchy bags are good because they can fit everything but the kitchen sink in them. Um, but they are a very casual handbag. So um, like I said, if you don't like the structured bags that are more bigger and more oversized and the slouchy bags are good, but there's definitely good bags to wear with like casual outfits, especially like like I said, the boho uh, or the Western trend or the Western style, um, these kind of bags are known to be worn with those type of style um, uh, aesthetics, if you will. So if you, yeah, if you like that kind of style, like Western or hobo or just like a casual style, just like carefree, you know, that kind of look, you know, nothing too stuffy, then these kind of bags are, I feel like are good bags to carry with those type of looks. So but I have a few of my own. And like I said, I've been having fun just trying to like figure out what I can put in them because they're huge, right? And you want to put as much as you can to kind of fill it up, but you also don't want to put too much to where it's so heavy as well. So, but they're cute bags. Like I said, just like casual bags that you can just wear every day on an everyday basis. If you um, don't work in a corporate environment and you just want one like a to go to work, you know, if you, especially if you work like in a more of an artsy or artistic type of a um, work situation or just something like very casual. I think they're good bags to have, you know, and take around with you. And just if you're going, you know, running errands or something, they're good bags to also take around too. Especially like the smaller hobo bags. Like there are some that are big, but they also make them where they're kind of small too, like medium size. So, but yeah, so those are the next um, huge trend as far as handbags are concerned are hobo bags or slouchy bags. All right, and this next trend, um, it is trending, but it is a style that comes around every fall and winter season. And I know I probably sound like a broken record, broken record when it comes to that, because a lot of these trends are trends that come around every season. So I don't even know if we can even categorize them as trends because they are classic. So, yeah, you can kind of see them both ways, you know, but um, but anyway. I digress. So the next trend I'm going to talk about is preppy style or that prep style. Like I said, this comes around every fall and winter season. I feel like 
it's just a staple and preppy style you know it, right now i guess the, the more specifically the preppy style that i've been seeing is like preppy mixed mixed in with a little bit of edginess or mixed in with a little bit of casualness because preppy is kind of i don't know i guess it depends on on where you are preppy can look like different things to different people but it definitely is you know when you think of preppy style right you think of you know schoolgirl or like catholic schoolgirl with like you know a plaid dress but like a polo shirt or something like that or like a button-up shirt that's pretty much what polo or preppy i should say what preppy style is um it's just like like a girl that's going to prep school think of rory gilmore from the gilmore girls when she was going to chilton think of gossip girl you know Got some girl, but with a little bit of edginess. Got some girl, their clothing was a little bit edgier um, as far as going to school, but think of that kind of style. So um, when I say like it's more of an edgier style, so think, like I said, think of Miu Miu. I think Miu Miu do, that brand do the preppy style mixed with edginess. I think they do it really well, like, like a dress, like a, not a dress, but like a preppy skirt, one of those plaid skirts or like pleated plaid skirt with like, instead of like some, you know, loafers with socks, cause that's probably, the way to you know the traditional way to wear it maybe wear it with like some boots or something like some knee-high boots or like some moto boots i think that's more of an edgier way to do this preppy style so that's kind of like what i mean by um kind of making it more edgier and where it doesn't look so literal like you're going to prep school but it looks you know like you know like a fashion girl like you look fashion you look like fashion when you participate in this trend and do it in such like an edgy way to edge it up so it doesn't look like you're going to school so that's how i wear it because i am a 40 you know 40 something year old woman and i would i mean i don't i've never gone to a prep school i went to you know public school so i can't relate to this style at all so that's probably why i would participate in it because i didn't you know wear uniforms when i went to school when i was in school um so i feel like that's probably more people would wear that type of style that never went to prep school but i feel like if you were the type of person that you went to a private school or prep school where you had to you know wear uniforms you probably wouldn't participate in this because it's like to you that reminds you of being in school but for me i think it's fun it's just a cute look i like i said i love to wear the preppy style i think that's probably my style for the most part in the fall and winter time just like a sweater like like what i have on maybe a button-up shirt underneath it maybe some trousers so you don't necessarily have to wear skirts you can do it with like some trouser pants or something like that and of course with some loafers uh, but like I said I would like to edge it up a little bit instead of maybe wearing I don't know instead of wearing like on top of this for instance I probably would wear maybe a moto jacket on top of this or like I said if I'm wearing a skirt I would do like some moto boots with my skirt instead of you know some you know loafers but i definitely would still wear it with loafers but like i said if i want to kind of edge it up a little bit and to make it where it's not so literal then i would just you know add some elements of some edginess to the outfit but i love the preppy style like i said it's my style that i pretty much wear pretty much year round i would say but i definitely wear it more so in the fall and winter time because it's just the go-to my go-to look my signature look if you want to talk about personal style my personal style for the fall and winter time is definitely more so um gears towards preppy so um but i love this style like i said it's for me it's a classic for me it's my personal style for me it's a staple or the pieces that are mainly known to be that preppy style those are staples in my wardrobe and so i wear them year round so that's why i kind of invest in this trend um as far as with a brand that i'm going to talk about in just a minute <laughs> a brand that is also trending right now um but anywho but yeah the preppy style is just a good you know chic look um put together type of style that i love it's my go-to so if you're not into it just you know get into it girl because it's, it's a good style so but yeah that's the next um trend that's going to be the preppy style all right and the next trend i'm going to talk about is going to be like these scarf jackets or like scarf sweaters or just like draping in general just something where you have like a piece where it looks like it's two pieces where it looks like you have on a top and like a scarf or some kind of draping wrapping around your um, shoulder so i've been seeing that style a lot here lately again online um because i don't really see it in real life out in my everyday to day life but i do see it online and i love this trend again this is this kind of goes with the preppy style a little bit you can kind of you know do this type of look with the preppy style or incorporate the preppy style with this type of a i don't know if you want to call it a look or a silhouette 
I don't even know if it's a silhouette, but I'm popping up pictures so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, I don't own anything where the top isn't, you know, included with the scarf. Because I think a lot of these tops that I've been seeing and a lot of these like sweaters and um, jackets, I think Totem, I think that's how you pronounce it. They do this scarf jacket that looks like it has a scarf um attached to it and it's just like like i said draping over your shoulder and i think it looks like it has like some stitching detail on the outside of it so it's a really nice jacket um i think it's in a, maybe in a thousand dollars i'm not sure um it's not something that i would invest in because i don't typically like anything like that really um for me i mean i could i participate in this by just getting like a jacket and just like wearing one of my thousands of scarves that i have and just kind of wrapping it over my shoulder like that that's how i would participate in this trend um but it's a trend as far as the um it being attached to the top but for me it is a classic it's something that i feel like we do every fall and winter right because it's cold so you're gonna wear you know a, a nice you know sweater and you're gonna wear a scarf you know and it may not the scarf may not be the same color um but you'll wear a scarf so i think that's the trend it's like it's just looking like it's all attached and all one piece but for me how i would participate in this trend would just be like i said like a scarf like a i would wear like a scarf of what i have on now and the scarf may not be gray or it may do like a different color gray, you know, maybe a darker gray and just kind of create that kind of look. But yeah, definitely this particular trend, I feel like it's been around for a few for a few seasons now because it definitely started with Totem and their signature like scarf jacket. But um, I think it's a cute, classy trend. Um, whenever I see, you know, women rocking this style, I always think how, you know, classy and sophisticated It's definitely more so of a mature I don't know it, it looks mature but i guess you can make it not look mature but the women that i've been seeing wearing this definitely have been looking more classy more sophisticated um i think the way to make it more youthful i guess would be to like add maybe a colorful scarf or something because i don't know color just color is not something that a lot of you know older women wear i don't know why i feel that way <laughs> maybe that's just me in my head but you could definitely can make it youthful and make it fun and playful by adding you know maybe a pop of color you know like a uh, like a colorful scarf you know um and drape it around you but any kind of draping or just like any kind of scarf detail attached to your sweater or your top um is is trending right now and it's very like i said classy and sophisticated and just a you know an easy way to participate in a trend but it's definitely a classic piece that or a classic um, style that you can incorporate into your wardrobe and like I said I feel like we wear this every year but it's trending now for whatever reason but but uh, yeah that is the next trend that's going to be a scarf or you know draping of some sort all right and the next trend and the last trend I'm going to talk about is not it's a brand I don't think I've ever and since i've been doing these videos these trend videos which i started doing them last year so i don't think i've ever talked about a brand being a trend um but a brand that i feel like has really been trending and really been popping off here lately is ralph lauren um i think it started with um the olympics um because we know that the usa olympic team um, Ralph Lauren was, you know, they pretty much dressed them. They were, you know, adorned. <laughs> the Olympic uh, athletes were adorned in Ralph Lauren, especially for the open ceremony. Um, so it just looks so chic. All of them look, all, all of them when they were dressed in the, you know, Ralph Lauren attire, they all look so chic and so classy and so, you know, sophisticated. The typical quintessential Ralph Lauren, you know, look everyone had as far as the uh, athletes. Um, and I love Ralph Lauren, as y'all know. I have on a Ralph Lauren sweater now. I have about, I don't know, three of these sweaters. <laughs> I have one in, um, I'm looking at them now. I have one, um, I have some cardigans too that's like in this um, cable neck type of a detail. I have like five of these. I'm not even gonna get into it, but I love Ralph Lauren. If you've been a follower of mine for a minute, you know I love a good Ralph Lauren moment. Um, I think probably here lately, I, every haul I've been doing has been some sort of Ralph Lauren piece. Um, it definitely, you know, again, it, uh, intertwines into the preppy style as well as like the ties. Um, a lot of Ralph Lauren items, when you see them styled up, they have ties. Of course the men do, but now I'm starting to see women, more so women um, being dressed um, with like a tie from Ralph Lauren. Um, it's just a classic um, type of a brand you know you can't go wrong with their with their pieces 
and I'm not sponsored by them. So I don't, you know, I'm not being paid to hype them up. I just genuinely love the brand. Um, I can find their pieces at the thrift store. I can find them at the outlet mall. I can get them online for, you know, on sale. So there's like a different variety of places that I get my Ralph Lauren pieces. The thrift store is where it's at though. If you want to get the look for less, um, or you want to get the look and don't want to pay the price, then the thrift store is definitely a good place to go to get Ralph Lauren pieces. I love their button up shirts. I get them out of the men's section of the thrift store. I have one that I cropped because I wanted to kind of have like that cropped kind of button up shirt effect. Um, yeah, I just, I love them. I have to, whenever I go to the thrift store, I have to tell myself, you don't need any more Ralph Lauren button up shirts because I have a, a several of them at this point. Um, but they're just good. It's a good brand. The pieces are pretty good quality. Well, I say pretty good, but really good quality. Um, they hold up like a lot of pieces that I have in my wardrobe. Um, I've had in my wardrobe for years and they've you know held up really well. I just love the, you know, that Americana style. And a lot of Ralph Lauren right now, they're kind of, kind of not doing just the preppy style, but they also are doing like Native American influence. I've seen that as far as a lot of their pieces, of course, Western influence. So Ralph Lauren is just kind of like, like I said, just the quintessential American kind of apparel brand where you see him inclusive. Like it's inclusive. When you watch the Ralph Lauren um, runway shows or fashion shows, it's, his shows are very inclusive. Like you'll see kids, you'll see, you know, black people, you'll see white, you'll see Asian, you'll see Native American. I mean, you'll see a variety of models and you'll see, you know, plus size models. You'll see, you know, short models like his, his brand and his you know, ethos is very much so based on inclusivity and diversity. And I love it. Um, I love the brand for that reason too, not just because it's good quality, but because, you know, he represents and it's a good representation of everyone. I think he even did like a, uh, a, um, like a black, was it like a black history or it might've been, um, HBCU type of a thing. Um, I saw that a couple of years ago where he had, um, uh, specifically did some um, pieces for different HBCUs. I think Spelman was one of them, if I'm not mistaken, which is a black, um, historically black college here in the Atlanta area. So um, yeah, he's very inclusive and the pieces are, anybody can wear a Ralph Lauren. I feel like it's just one of those brands that I feel like everybody can relate to and everybody can find something for them. Even if your style is not preppy, like I said, he has a variety of, you know, um styles for I feel like everybody even like for little kids you know he has like the polo shirts and you know for kids i mean it's just very inclusive i can say i can go on and on about the brand y'all know i already know i like ralph lauren and his pieces but yeah it's just it's definitely been popping off here lately like i said i think a lot of it had to do with the the olympics and you know the olympic team being adorned in ralph lauren attire which was just so you know so classy so chic so demure so mindful all the things so but i'm loving ralph lauren i think i don't think i'll ever not love ralph lauren i don't feel like ralph lauren is a trend but i feel like it's definitely a classic it's an american classic but for right now as far as right now 2024 Ralph Lauren has definitely been popping off, especially for the fall and winter season. So, um, like I said, if you want to, you know, it's a good investment piece. Um, if you don't want to spend that kind of money on one of Ralph Lauren pieces, hit up the thrift store. You will definitely find a Ralph Lauren item in, at the thrift store, whether it be, but I would say go to the midsection. <laughs> so whether it be a button up shirt or a sweater of some sort, or, you know, a polo shirt, you'll definitely find that at Ralph Lauren to get that look for less. So, but yeah, that is the next trend. And that's going to be a brand, which is Ralph Lauren. All right, guys, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed these next five trends that I just went over. Like I said, this is part six. So at this point, we have 30. I think I've gone over 30 fall trends or fall and winter. There's a lot of these you can kind of transition into the colder months. But um, I love talking about trends. I love talking about fashion. So, you know, um, I don't know if I'll do a part seven. We'll see. I don't know. I'm like trickled as, as I find these trends and as I see things, I just kind of write it down and just you know add to the list so we'll see if i do a part seven so maybe we'll do winter trends <laughs> maybe we'll do winter trends next but but yeah so you guys have plenty of inspo as far as what you want to try out for you know the fall season and, and even into the winter season you guys have plenty of inspo i think i've given you plenty of inspo for you guys to so just add a little you know funness to your look especially if these are trends you've never tried and you just want to try them out and you know just kind of you know feel your way and see and do something different with your look you know trends are just one way to do that like you 
you know, I know I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a trendy person because a lot of the trends, like I said, are items or pieces or style aesthetics that I already wear. So I think it's trending. When it's something's trending, it just means there are abundance of pieces that you can get in that particular trend. So it just makes it easy, you know, easier and more accessible. So, but a lot of these trends, like I said, are things I'm already wearing. So it just fits right into my existing wardrobe. And a lot of these things I don't have to go out and buy because I already have them. So like Ralph Lauren, for instance, I already have a ton of Ralph Lauren pieces, so I don't have to keep buying them. So, um, but it's just one way to look, you know, up to date and look fashionable and, you know, fashion forward is just a try trend. So, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm done rambling. Okay. Like I said, I can talk about fashion for literally hours. That's why my channel is all about fashion because I can literally talk about it forever in a day, but I know you guys probably have stuff to do, so I'm gonna let you go, <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and taking the time out to listen to this video and hear me ramble for i don't know how long but thank you guys so much for your support don't forget to like and subscribe if you are not subscribed so that you don't miss any of my videos i do lots of fashion over here and also lifestyle videos so if you are loving the channel or you're loving this video be sure to support me and so and subscribe because it definitely helps my channel out so all right well thank you guys so much for watching i will see you all in the next video bye guys <music>